Shalom, shalom to the nation of Israel, shalom. Before we get started, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone, that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there, scattered abroad, unlike unto a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men. Peace, blessings, salutations. To the remnant, men, women, children, shalom on, right? This your brother Shapai, right? So, I seen this earlier. Like, I'm talking about six, six, seven in the morning. I seen this, right? And so, you know, I was watching a lesson. Um, the brothers um, on um, out of... In um, Elder Yashawamba's camp Out there I guess in I think Kansas Texas It's a lot of, um, Akiem if, if I got that wrong But So I was watching that And they was talking To a Christian And he just couldn't get it right So it just kept making me think About this brave new world <laughs> The progressive world That we in And this thing So they actually got This is an actual thing Babylon B God to wokeness. So I was meditating on that. So let's look. Let's look at some of the stuff they got in here, right? Okay, they got. Let's pull in a little bit so you can see a little bit better. And let's come back down. So they got abolitionism. The noble movement, the noble movement to remove all police protection from urban communities and replace it with unarmed, anti-racist, <laughs> interpretive dances. Oh yeah, I remember when they was doing the, they'd be doing the marches or whatever and and I remember that one brother with the dreads out there it looked like he was having a um, seizure dancing in front of police I'm like man shit is crazy ally a straight white man who kills himself <laughs> I was reading this shit earlier like what Anti-racism, get it a little closer, right there, you can see, anti-racism, the act of judging everyone by skin color in order to defeat racism, anti-fascism, the act of beating people senseless with bike locks, I was like, this shit crazy right here, this shit was crazy, reading this shit, Canceling sacred ritual of shunning those who deny the doctrines of our righteous movement. <sighs> Proverbs 6 and 9. How long wilt thy sleep, O sluggard? When wilt thou arise out of thy sleep? Talking about the sleep and knowledge of the scriptures and being an Israelite and all of this, this ain't gonna rise you. This ain't gonna do nothing for you, man. This this brand of woke right here. And I was thinking that got me to the thought of woke according to the scriptures, man. This shit ain't woke. This shit is, I don't know what this shit is. Look, this cisgender shit. Cisgender and enlightened normie who identifies with their biological sex. Yeah, so I would be a cisgender male. I hate that shit. I, I hate the and that's some shit you see online like nobody really calls people set you won't walk up these oh you're a sex gender in real you know in, in the streets. This is the dumb shit they these is all dumb shits they say online, man. And then they little stupid videos they make. Colorblind, critical dick. Ah, we ain't gonna read. <laughs> you get the point though. You get the point, man. You get the point. Fat phobia, the fear of big, beautiful cholesterol and diabetes. Wow. <laughs> Feminist, someone who believes that men and women should be equal 
and men should also die. See, so I was like, it's some, it's it, it was some stuff in here to, the, yeah, just just madness in this shit. Let's keep getting it. Jeremiah four four and fourteen. I got one to show y'all. Y'all ain't gonna believe, man. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Yeah, man. Jerusalem, we gotta wake up. Israel, we gotta wake up, man. This type of shit, gender, how dare you? Yeah, you can't, you can't call nobody ma'am or sir nowadays. You know, I, I, I identify as we, as them, as, as a group. You know, you can't, you can't say that. Let's see what else we got on here. Heteronorm, heteronormality. See that one? Heteronormality. <laughs> An oppressive environment induced by people not being gay. <laughs> Homophobe. Anyone who disagrees, no matter how slightly, with the LBG community, should be destroyed. And they practice that all the time. They, they, they look at look at they they Chappelle, Chappelle. They 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 dragging them over the coals, even though it's all an act. Everything that you see in the news now is an act to distract you. Whether it's your favorite sports star, whether it's your favorite rapper. Whether it's your favorite comedian, everybody that's getting a check from Esau is playing their part. They have their handlers, and they handlers get directions from the top wicked motherfuckers, the elites that's ruling the country, the, the world, not the country, the, the country and the world. Like when Joe Biden say, "Oh, we're getting upset. We 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 come to our end, ends wits with you, you um unjabbed up people." Who is the we you talking about? You the top dog. Who is the we you talking about? Oh, look at this. Internalized oppression. When a woman makes a sandwich for her husband. <laughs> look at this one. Double in internalized oppression. When a black woman... Makes a sandwich for her white Republican husband. Yeah, it's a lot of that. The, the swirl life is, is, is crazy. And black woman, I seen the thing where the sister got set on fire by the um by the the, the sister got set on fire, at barbecue by 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 her 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 her, her white lover, her white husband. And she was, she was, um, capping for him. She was capping for him. Them pictures was ter horrible, too. Microaggressions. Aggressions so small, you need to be very alert and observant to, <laughs> in order to see the proper response to them is a microaggressive punch to the face. Yeah. Misogynistic, another word for man. Yeah, this place is crazy, man. This article, yeah, reading this, this shit was crazy, man. Yeah. So, look, this one I had to show y'all, man. This got really nothing to do with... <laughs> I had to show y'all this shit. They got doggy thongs. They got doggy thongs. Look. Esau made doggy thongs. <laughs> this is the society we in, man. Look, doggy thongs. This shit is real. Esau made doggy thongs. And they said he, he made, in one year alone, they said, he, I think they either he sold 300,000 of them. Either he sold... 300,000 of these shits or yeah these niggas got doggy thongs man huh 
<sighs> the meaning of wokeness. Let's get over here. <laughs> Y'all had to see that. They got doggy thongs out here, man. And that's what they calling them, doggy thongs. That should kind of make a woman never want to wear a thong again. The meaning of wokeness. Whoa, 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 whoa. The world where cancel culture and political correctness are reshaping how citizens across the United States. And see, this is why where my lesson kick, kicks in at. Where, where, like, they trying to shape your mind and all of this to fit this new bullshit they got going on. When the scriptures is what should be shaping your mind. See? Let's get it. Psalms. 94 and 8. Psalms 94 and 8. Understand, ye brutish among the people, and ye few folk salak I got a um, a, um, recall in my mouth because I seen that hall. <laughs> Halls was on my list the other day, so I had the 86 halls. Psalms 94 and 8. Understand ye brutish among the people and ye fools. When will ye be wise? He that planteth the ear shall shall he not hear? He that formed the eye shall he not see? Yeah, man. You gotta see that this is this is crazy, man. While the word, another term, has become as prominent as wokeness. Yeah, wokeness. While the word itself has been used throughout multiple contexts within black community, black American community. See? We still have Jake bugged out for being a verbal survival tactic, warning of imp impending danger to becoming prominent on social media I told you to becoming prominent on social media <laughs> wokeness is being woke has evolved according to Vox Aja Romano for many into a label and a way of life see this is this is a way of life they trying to push now watch this now watch this you know, of course, they talk about Michael Michael Brown and all that and, and always going to throw a, a black man getting killed, so-called black man getting killed in there. But now let's see. Like it's relative cancel culture and branching off political correctness, being woke involves being aware of issues concerning social, racial injustice. The curses of Deuteronomy 28 explain all that. And lack thereof, thus pushing for mass reaction from the public before 2014 the call to stay woke was for many people unheard of Romano says on October 9 but in 2014 stay woke suddenly became a cautionary watchword of Black Lives Matter activists on the street using a chilling Black Lives Matter ain't nothing but a psyop man is is funded is it is it, ball it's all bullshit use and if you can't see that right now you need to pray man fast use in a chilling and specific context keep in watch but this is the part i wanted now with the mount right here now with the mountain presence of black lives matter movement as well as the recent rise of other social issues other social issue movements including me too times up lbgt plus rights lbgtq plus dang they got yeah they got a lot of letters now rights woke has become a term used to spread advocacy for a c so you by by being woke now you pretty much saying that i'm gonna advocate for lbgtq rights in this see it's wokeness man it's wokeness gonna get you I like pictures man sometimes I need to say pictures say a thousand words
Yeah, because Black Lives Matter is just just a way to push LBG, LBGTQ on my peoples, on the peoples. Shit crazy, man. See, it's the type of dumb shit they say. This is what happens when you woke. When you woke, they say dumb shit like this. Let's see. This would be woke lead you to. Dumb shit like this. Toxic masculinity is the reason for climate change. This is stupid, man. Couple more. Because we, we on wokeness. What is woke according to the scriptures? Let's get it. Romans 13 and 11. And that, let's start at 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believed see that's woke waking up because the time redeeming the times man this is woke according to the scriptures man let's keep getting it let's 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 keep let's show woke in the scriptures what woke is in the scriptures ephesians 5 14 Wherefore he saith Awake thou that sleepeth And arise from the dead Spiritually, mentally dead And, and Hamashiach shall give thee light See then that ye walk circumspectly Not as fools but as wise Redeeming the times because the days are evil. evil. That's, what's, that's what's woke according to the scriptures, man. This shit, man, here is woke dictionary. This, this shit right here, Eve is done, man. Eve love it here, man. Eve love. Eve love the power, the authority, the fact that they done elevated her over the man. Eve love it here, man. Eve love it here, man. And they start, man, you get your kid, your kids in school, man. By the time your kids get 13, 14 years old, they done turned your kids against, sent, they, done, they done destroyed your kids' mentals, man. If you not on them in the right way, man, your kids, be, your kids is a mess, man. They, they literally turn your kids against you, man. Where your kids is running you and running you according to, to this new, to this new generation of bullshit, man. This woke shit. This don't, whatever they do, don't judge them because we all together and this and it. This is the bullshit, man. This is the bullshit, man. Let's keep getting it. This is the bullshit. Let's keep going. Let's prove the point with the scriptures. First Thessalonians 5 and 2. Let's start there. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travaileth upon a woman with a child, and they shall not escape. But ye brethren are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are all children of light that woke shit is darkness ye are all children of light and the children of the day we are not of the night nor of the darkness L listen to this first thessalonians 5 and 6 therefore let us not sleep as do others but let us watch and be sober for they that sleep sleep in the night and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. See? So yeah, that this this is woke in the scriptures, man. This shit right here, man. This shit right here that they got going on. 
this new woke, this this wokeness shit right here in a world where they making doggy thongs and all of this, man. Doggy thongs, man. Doggy thongs, man. Doggy thongs. Dog doggy thongs. This doggy thongs, man. This is what this this is this is what wokeness is about, man. Accepting people that you you see a possible uh, Tahar did the video where the dude got the um he mar in the movie he's marrying a lamb and they gonna consummate the marriage and all this. This is wokeness, man. This is wokeness. Accepting of anybody and their sexual preferences, their this that whatever they want, do a stout will. This is another way of saying do a stout will, man. Crazy, man. Doggy thongs, man. Proverbs 20 and 13. Love not sleep. Least thou come to poverty. Open thine eyes. And thou shalt be satisfied with bread, man. Yeah, this manna, man. This the scriptures, man. Let's keep getting it. A couple more till we get out of here, man. So I want to make sure we understand, man. This shit is this shit is death, man. This woke shit is death. The scriptures is life, man. Scriptures is life. Where's that? Where we going? Psalms 132 and 4. I think it is. Psalms 132 and 3. Surely I will not come unto the tabernacle of my house, nor go up into my bed. I will not give sleep to mine eyes or slumber to mine eyelids until I find out a place for the Lord and habitation for the mighty power of Jacob. See? So you got to this is the scriptures is 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 woke, man. The scriptures is woke, man. The scriptures the scriptures is woke. Isaiah 29 and 9 um, 10. Let's get there. The scriptures is woke. But Everybody not going to wake up. Everybody's not going to wake up. Know why? Because, let's go. 29 and 9. Stay yourselves in wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken. We just read that. They are drunken. But not with wine. They stagger. But not with strong drink. Why are they staggering? For the Lord have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. That's opposite of woke, right? Sleep. The spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes. The prophets and your rulers, the seers, have he covered. Yep. So if you got heads out here and you with the you out here doing this or whatever the case may be and you following them, you and them, um, y'all eyes is blinded, man. The Most High did that to you, man. Deuteronomy 29 and 4. Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 4. Let the Lord have not given you a heart to perceive and eyes to see and ears to hear until this very, until this day. Yes, yep. To this day, the Most High got you sleep, man. So the scriptures tell you what woke is and, and what sleep is and why you sleeping. The most high got you sleep, man. Ezekiel 12 and 2. Let's get that. Couple more. We'll to make sure we understand. Ezekiel 12 and 1. Start at 1. The Lord, the word of the Lord also came unto me, saying, Son of man, thou dwellest in the midst of a rebellious house which have eyes to see and see not and have ears to hear and hear not for they are rebellious house see they are rebellious house man so they not listening they not paying attention they thinking that this is woke this is what they should be putting there they understand they're trying to understand this right here and this 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 whole black lives matter this this new wokeness this new wokeness, the Babylon B. They they tell on themselves. You see the name of the the, the Babylon B. 
Because we in Babylon, man. We is in Babylon, man. We is in Babylon, a revised Roman Empire, man. Let's keep getting it. Loot. Yeah, man. They tell on themselves. The information is right there, but people just ignore it. And sometimes you 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 got man's going is of the Lord, so you don't have no choice in it. Luke 8 and 10. And this is Yahweh Shah speaking. And he said, Unto you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of the Most High. But to the others in parables, that seeing they might not see, and hearing they might not understand. See? <coughs> Second Corinthians. It's like it. Second Corinthians 3 and 14. Second Corinthians 3 and 14. But their minds were blinded. For until this day remaineth the same vein untaken away in the reading of the Old Testament, which veil is done away in Hamashiach. Yeah, man. So that's a cut right there to the heads that's saying that the the old the, the um laws in the Old Testament is gonna save them, man. Which matches up with Hebrews um eight, eight and eight. Start at eight on down and Jeremiah 31 and start down. Jeremiah 31 and 31 start down. That matches up with those right there. Let's keep getting it though. Two more. Let's get two more. Romans 11 and 7. Let's start at a 7. Romans 11 and 7. What did Israel have obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it? And the rest were blinded. According as it is written, the Most High have given them the spirit of slumber. Sleep. The spirit of slumber. So you can't be woke if you got the spirit of slumber on you. I don't care how much of this shit you know. You can't be awake if the Most High got you blind to the bullshit. This is the bullshit right here. The Most High got you thinking that, oh man, drinking the Kool-Aid. You out here like this. You out here like this. The Most High got you out there like that. He the one got you blind. Romans 11 and 8. According as it is written, the Most High given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear until this day. See? Close it out on this one right here. Yeah, man, the most high got you. So this, this this is what you need to be doing, man. This this is what this is what you need to be doing, man. Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want her mate. For my mouth it have commanded. And his spirit, it have gathered it. Yeah, man. Yeah. So this is what you got to do, man. You got to seek out the book of the Lord and read. Finding this little Babylon B guide to wokeness. <laughs> with the little L. Look, look, with the LBTG flag on this side. And a dude with a Molotov cocktail on this side. With a black power fist right here. This, this, is, this, this is madness, man. This is total madness right here, man. So, yeah, so with that one, man, we're going to say all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the elders, the apostles, the brothers, the men at Great Millstone that rule well, that taught me this truth. To the hopeful elect out there scattered abroad, unlike to a speckled bird, tabernacle of King David, 144,000 mighty men spread out throughout the world, the planet, the four corners of the earth. Peace, blessings, keep pushing this word, man. Stay diligent, man. To the remnant, men, women, children, remain spiritual out there. Me too. Kwam Yashirala and Abba Baba. Baraka Thumb, family. Shalom.